Hi guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to play Exodus 39 to 40, Leviticus 1 to 6, Proverbs 12, and Psalm 112. Let's just start. When the blue and purple sky arms, they made finally word from God to mystery in the holy place. They made the holy gods for Aaron as the Lord's commandments. They made the effort of gold, blue and purple and scarlet, and the fine tone land. They hammered out gold leaving, cut it into first work into the blue and purple and scarlet arms, and into the fine tone land, and skill and design. They made for the effort of attaching sword and piece, doing the it. Joined to it as two edges. Then skillfully wove a band on it. It was a one piece of them made like it of gold, blue and purple and scarlet yards. The front time left as the Lord of Commandments. And he made the onyx stone and closed the stones of gold for the brick. And he gave little, like, and he engraved on a signet according to the names of the sons of Israel. And he set them on the shoulder piece of effort to be stones of remembrance for the sons of Israel as the Lord of Commandments. He made the breast piece and skill work and started the effort of gold, blue and purple and scarlet yards. The front time left. In the square, they made the breast piece double, the span's length, the span's span, breadth, and double. And then four rows of stones, rows of size, topaz, and carbuncle was the first row, and the second row, an emerald, a sapphire, and a dun. And the third row, just in the third, and again, and the fourth row, a barrel, onyx, and jasper. They enclosed the selling as a gold for the roof, they were twelve stones, and they made according to the needs of the sons of Israel. And the next two, they did engrave it near the twelve track. They made it on the breast piece, twelve just changed like cords, pure gold. They made two stones of gold for the roof, and two gold rings, and put the two rings on the two edges of the breast piece. And they had the two cords of gold and the two rings. At the edges of the breastplate, they attached the two ends of the two cords to the two stones of the As they attached it in front of the shoulder pieces of the effort, and they made two rings of gold. At the two ends of the breastplate, and it's inside it as next to the effort. They made two rings of gold, and attached it in front to the lower part of the two shoulder pieces of the effort, and it seemed like both skillfully were from the effort. They bound the breastplate by its rings to the rings of the effort with the lace of the breastplate, and she allowed the skillfully were from the effort. And the breastplate should not come from the effort, as the Lord had commanded us. This made the river of effort were from all, but in the way of opening, the river of was like opening and gone. There's a binding around the opening, so it might not turn. The hem of the road they made pomegranates, blue and purple and scallions, and fine twine linen. They also made bells of pure, pure gold and put the bells between the pomegranates all around the hem of the road. And between the pomegranates, a bell and a pomegranate, a bell and a pomegranate around the hem of the road for mystery. And the Lord commanded Moses, they also made the coast where we can find them, for Aaron and his sons, and the children of fine and the gaps of fine linen, and the linen and the garments of fine twine linen, and the sash of fine twine linen, and blue and the blue and purple and scallions, and bright with needleworks. As the Lord commanded Moses, so they made the play in the holy crown of pure and wrote on the inscription, like the engraving of a signal, holy to the Lord, and they tied it to a coil of blue and fastened it on the turban above the Lord commanded Moses. As all the work of the tabernacle of the ten of meaning was finished, and the Hebrew Israel did according to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so they did. They had brought the tabernacle from Moses, the ten of dollars, the tassels, the hooks, its frames, its bars, the pillars, and its bases, covering and tangled around skins and coats, skins, and then the other screen. The ark of the ten strings, the poles, and the mass, the end table, the lords of the and the bread of the crescent. The lamps stand pure gold, and the lamps of the lamps stand in the lords of the temples, and the oil of the light, and the golden altar, the anointing oil, and the fragrant incense, and the screen for the entrance of the tent, the bronze altar, and the grating of bronze, its poles, and the lords of the temples, the basin, and the stand, and the hangings of the court, its pillars, and its bases, and the screen through the gate of the court, and the for the gate of the court, its courts and its pegs, and all the attempts of the service of the tabernacle, the tent of meeting, the final work done to minister in the holy place. Holy God to Aaron the priest, and the God to our sons for their service and his priest. Point to what the Lord commanded us to hear the people had done, Israel had done all the work. When Moses saw the work, he and behold, they had done it as the Lord commanded us, and yeah, they had done it in most places. Lord spoke to me, saying, On the first day of the month, you shall you know, erect the tabernacle of the tent of meeting, you shall put it in the ark of the testament, and you shall screen the ark with the veil, and you shall bring it in the temple in the region, you shall bring in the lamps, and you shall bring in the and you shall put the golden altar fence in before the altar, uh, before the altar, uh, before the tabernacle, or before the tabernacle and the tent meeting. You shall place the basin and maintain the tent meeting in the altar and put water in. You shall set the court oil and hang up the screen for the gate of the court. And you shall take the anointing oil and anoint the tabernacle and all the same. Consecrate it and it's all the furniture. So they made the compost. You shall also anoint the altar bed off it and it's the same. So consecrate the altar. The altar made the compost. You shall also anoint the basin and the stand. Consecrate Then you shall bring Aaron and sons to the entrance of the tent meeting. You shall wash them with water and put on them Aaron and the holy garments. And you shall anoint him and consecrate him that they, he may serve his priest. You shall bring his sons and put your coats on them and anoint them. You anoint their father, they may serve his priest. And then you shall admit them to a pre perpetual priesthood throughout their generation. And but this most day, according to all the law, command him. So in the first month, second year, on the first day of the month, the tabernacle was erected. When he erected the tabernacle, the tabernacle, he laid space, set up its frames, and then put it in his pulse, raised its pulse. He spread the tent over and the tabernacle and put the covering and he put the covering at the tent over. As the Lord commanded Moses, he took the testimony and put it into the ark and put the poles in the ark and set them as sea above in the ark. And he brought the ark into the tabernacle and, and set up the veil of the screen, screened the ark and the testimony as the Lord commanded Moses. And then he put the table in front of the tent of meeting and on the north side of the tabernacle and set it there. And then arranged the bread on the pool as the Lord commanded Moses. And then he put the lamps in the meeting opposite the table on the south side of the tabernacle and set up the lamps before the Lord as the Lord commanded Moses. He put the golden altar in. 
and put in the time being full of Anna and by pregnant it's son as the Lord had committed mercy. He had placed the square in the door of the town of him, and then he set the altar of bed offering and edges of the tabernacle of the son of me. And the following at the bed offering the great offerings of the Lord commanded mercy. And he set the basin and twit in the tent, made the altar and put water in it for wash. With which mercy and his sons washed their hands and their feet when they entered the tent, and they pressed the altar, they washed as the Lord commanded mercy. And he erected the court around the tabernacle and the altar to set the screen at the gate of God. So most finished the and the cloud covered the tent meeting, and the glory of the Lord filled the tent meeting, and this was not able to enter the tent meeting because the clouds of the Lord. The glory of the Lord filled up the tent meeting. Throughout all the journeys, wherever the cloud was taken up from over the tent meeting, the glory of the Lord set up. And the cloud was not taken up, uh, and the ignorance was set up till the day that it was taken up. The cloud of the Lord was on the tent meeting by day, and fire was in by night, and the of all the houses of all the journey. In Leviticus 1 to 6, the Lord called Moses and spoke to him from the tent meeting, saying, Speak to the people as I say to them, When one any of you brings an offering to the Lord, shall bring an offering that last offering he had from the flock. If his offering is a burnt offering from the herd, and he shall offer a man without blemish. He shall bring it to the end of the tent meeting, that he may be accepted for the Lord. He shall lay it on the head of the burnt offering, and shall be accepted for him to make a tent for him. And he shall kill the bull for one man, son of the priest. Then son of the priest shall bring him the blood and first blood, and so the altar that's at the entrance of the tent meeting. At the entrance of the tent meeting, he shall fight the burnt offering, cut it to pieces. Then the son of the priest shall put fire in the altar and arrange wood on the fire. And the son of the priest shall arrange the pieces of the head and the fire, and the wood that is on the fire in the altar. And his entrails and his legs shall wash with water. And the priest shall bring all of it on the fire as a burnt offering, and food offering with a pleasing aroma to the Lord. If it be for a burnt offering from the flock, from the sheep, because he shall bring a man without blood. Shall come and will side the altar for food and air. So the priest shall carry his blood against the sides of the altar, and shall cut into pieces with his head as fat. And the priest shall arrange him the wood that is on the fire in the altar. But the entrails and legs shall wash with water. And the priest shall offer all of it in bed on the altar. It is a burnt offering, a food offering with a pleasing aroma to the Lord. And his offering to the Lord is a burnt offering and a burst. Then he shall bring his offering a pillow of pigeon. And the priest shall bring to the altar and bring off its head and burn on it the altar. His blood shall be drained on the side of the altar. He shall remove his car with the content of the because I had the altar on Lisa. And the priest shall, shall tear open the wings, which shall severely compare the evening. And the priest shall burn it in the altar, and the wood that's on the fire is a burnt offering. Free offering will please the to the Lord. And he who brings a burnt offering to offering to the Lord, his offering shall be a fire. She shall put oil on it and put fresh incense on it and bring it down to the priest. She shall take from it a handful of fine flour and oil and all its fresh incense. The priest shall burn the sin of the memorial portion of the master. Fair offering will please the room to the Lord. The rest of the great offering shall be and shall be a fair innocent. It is the most holy part of the Lord's free offering. And you bring a grain offering, baked in an oven, as an offering. It shall be unleavened, like a fine flour mixed with oil. Then leaven bread, on the roof of the office, made with oil. If your offering is a grain offering, break, <coughs> baked on the grill, it shall be a fine flour and leaven. Next to the shall bake and break it in peace and pour oil on it. It is a grain offering. And if your offering is a grain offering, cooked in it. It shall be made of fine flour with oil. You shall bring them the grain offering that is made for with these things to the Lord. And when it is presented to the priest, you shall bring it to the oven. And if you shall take from the grain offering, it's more one person and bend this on the altar. If you don't want to please your to look. And if the rest of the grain offering shall be fair and said, His most holy part of the Lord, the Lord's food offering, is this grain offering. And the grain offering that you bring to the Lord shall be made with leaven, for you shall burn no leaven, nor any honey is to the Lord. That's not from the first, you shall bring them to the Lord. And if they shall be offered on the altar, the Lord will please you. shall season all the grain offerings. And the grain offering shall you shall not let this heart come with your God, being the sacred grain offering. The Lord offering shall offer salt. And if you offer the grain offering of first fruit, it's an oil. You shall offer the grain offering of first fruit, fresh as roasted with fire, fresh new grain. And you shall burn oil and then make fresh dust on it. And it's a grain offering. The priest shall burn this more and more a portion. And on the crushed grains on the oil with all its fresh dust. It's a free offering to the Lord. And if his offering is a sacrifice, peace of him. And if he offers an animal from the head of male fruit, you shall offer it without blemish for the Lord. And you shall lay his head and hand on the head of his offering and heal it at the entrance of the tent meeting. And then some of the priests shall throw the blood against the size of the altar. In front of the sacrifice, the peace offering is free offering to the Lord. He shall offer the fat covered in the entrails, and all the fat that is on the entrails, and two kings of the fat that is on the earth, Lord. And long live and live, and they shall remain with the kings, and the shall burn on the fire. On the altar, and on top of the burnt offering, and she shall on the wood of the fire. It is a free offering of pleasing remnant to the Lord. And if it is offering you for a sacrifice, peace offering. He is offering to the Lord, and there is an animal from the flood. Male female shall offer it without blood. If it was a lamb for his offering, then he shall offer it before the lay hand the head of his offering. Then kill in front of the ten of the and son shall throw its body and size it out. And from the sacrifice of peace offering, shall offer his free offering to the Lord's fat. He shall remove the whole fat down. I'll offer close to the back way, the fat that covers the interest, and all the fat that is on the interest, and two kings with the fat that is on the middle lines, and the long labor delivered with that, he shall remove the kidneys. And the priest shall burn on the altar as a free offering to the Lord. If his offering is of great, then he shall offer it before the Lord, and lay his hands and kill in front of the ten of the And the son of Aaron shall throw his body against the sides of the altar, and then he shall offer from his offering for the free offering to the Lord. The fat covering the interest, and all the fat that is on the interest, and the two Kidneys for the fat that's on the earth, Lord. And long live and live with it, shall remove the kidneys. All the priest shall be one of the altars of free offering. No blessing room, all fat is the Lord, shall be stashed forever throughout your generation. And you don't want your own blessing. Be neither fat nor blood, the Lord speak for mercy, speak to people as I say. He answers them intentionally in the name of the Lord's command, but it's about things not to be done. And does any of them, and if it is the name of the priest, you should have to bring God
for a sin of
And it's also right to just cancel the wicked as evil, then we'll the wicked line away from blood. And I thought right to those, then we go over there and on them with a house of rational state. And it's commanded according to his good sense, one is just a mind that's fine, especially through love and have seven of the great men like bread. No one's regard, his life, righteous has regard for life as peace. His mercy is the wicked school, and wherefore works the land with plenty of bread. He and follows worth of success and success. He loves the wicked, give us support, you loves the ruin of righteous best way. You men are sincere by the transgression of the soul, and the righteous escape from trouble. Hope is mirth, man is satisfied with you, and the word of the intent comes back to you. No fool's right is in this, for the wise man must do the rest. The exception of fools may not watch, and the reader ignores the insult. He must speak the truth that gives on the seven, but the false witness has to see. There is one who is the right word to lie, so that the young and the wise man is healing, truth works in your favor, but the blind tongue but firm. The uh, deceased and heart of those who devise evil. Uh, those who find peace are joined, they are ill before the righteous, they are looking after all truth. Man of sin and abomination to the Lord, those who act faithfully as to life. Uh, those who make decisions know that how the force proclaims fight, and the diligent will rule. The soft will be put to force like anxiety means how wisdom does. The girl will make them glad, one is righteous as God to his name, but the way of the wicked leaves mystery. Man of soft will not rest again, the diligent man will not push forth, and the path of righteousness will laugh, and his path will be his name death. Psalm 112. Praise the Lord, bless the man of his Lord, who greatly delights in commandments. His offspring will be right and right. Generation of right will be blessed. Life and richness are in his house, and right and sinners will be forever. Mind dawns and darkness will not raise. Faith is merciful and righteous. He is well with the man who deals generously in lands. He conducts his affairs with justice, and the righteous will never be ignored. Do not be a man for it. He is not afraid of bad news. His heart is found trusting in the world. And his heart is he will not be afraid until he looks in trouble from his food. He sees his share between freedom is given to the world. He rests in his sins, he will forever. So he will be able to look in his sins and say, He must be taken elsewhere. It is not that we call passion. The last night should not do the Lord's path, his path is fallen in heaven, and the beauty of the kingdom coming will be done with us in heaven. This is your day, brother, forgive us those who have done this. There is no temptation, let us leave the world. The last of the kingdom, the path and the glory of heaven. Amen. See you tomorrow. Bye.